Welcome everyone, my name is Ali. Today I'll tell you how to unlock Tengu Undead Crusade character faster. Now this character is unlock able at Master 2 rank of Battle Royale and this is by far the best character that they gave us in Battle Royale rank. So basically I'll tell you how to rank up faster in Battle Royale. As you know COD Mobile has become Warzone Mobile which made a lot of things different and the gunsmith gave a totally new experience of Battle Royale. If you wanna get free card points, let me tell you I'm doing a giveaway all you gotta do to enter to the giveaway go like this video subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications you gotta share this video it is mandatory go find that video on my channel and comment below your card member username also follow me on my Instagram because giveaway results will be shown on my Instagram so good luck to everyone back to the video so which is the best mode to play solo duo or squad I recommend playing duo because imagine if you're playing solo and then you die there's no second chances, no one is there to revive you. And if you play squad, it is always messy. Sometimes teamers don't follow you, and if your teamers die, it's gonna be hard for you to go and do 1v4, then 1v2. So duos are the best option always, but solo and back too, is it? Now let's talk about our loadout. After the gunsmith, it is hard to tell which gun is the best because every gun has hundreds of attachments. With these many attachments, now you can easily change the entire nature of any weapon. But here are my personal favorite guns of Battle Royale after Season 9. Remember, this is my personal opinion, I'm not ranking any gun in Battle Royale. The AK-117 is my best and favorite weapon. The AK-117 has always been a really reliable weapon in Battle Royale because of its fast firing rate and the less recoil. It even has a really good range and damage. The other gun that I like is M4 which is similar to AK-117 but with slow firing rate but much lower recoil. The other good gun is AK-47. It is a pretty good weapon too. It has great damage but more recoil but Season 9 has made it easier. With right attachments you can make its recoil as less as M4 which is crazy. The other gun that I like is KN44. KN44 is a new addition in Battle Royale. The KN44 is just a great weapon in both multiplayer and Battle Royale. These are one of the best currently weapons in our Season 9 Battle Royale. But I would always recommend you guys go use your favorite weapon that you can easily use and you have your grip on it. When it comes to the best snipers, then I would say no doubt Arctic is the still best sniper in Battle Royale as you can literally spam and you don't have to reload it every time you shoot like Kilobolt or Car 98 k and DLQ-33 sniper. The Kilobolt sniper is good too. All these three snipers take two bullets to kill a guy, but Arctic don't require reloading all the time. I recommend using one sniper and one AR. My favorite choice is to use RT.50 and AK117. If you don't want to use them then you can try other guns as I mentioned above. I don't recommend using shotgun but if you guys are ranking up and going for kills do not use shotguns but if you guys still want to use it then go use one shotgun and one AR and the best shotguns are KRM and BY15 in Battle Royale. And if you talk about our best class, then no doubt Trickster is gonna be the most helpful class if you're a decent player. You can also give a try to Mechanic, Smoke Bomb and Poltergeist. Pro mostly like to use Ninja but it's not easy to use for a player like me and use because you have to have a, a really good aim where you're aiming to use your Ninja so I wouldn't recommend unless you're a pro player to go and use Ninja. And the reason I do like trap mine is because most of the time campers use it. Now I'm not gonna say that everyone who use it is a camper, but the majority is a camper who use trap mine. Scout isn't the best class now since it got nerfed in all seasons, so yeah my favorite class is Trickster. The best way to use Trickster is if you see an enemy go take cover and then use Trickster. And once you bait your enemy and he's shooting at your clone, then this is the right moment to go and kill him because he's distracted, he's trying to kill your clone and you can easily kill him. Never use Trickster in front of uh, your enemy and if he's looking at you because he can easily tell which is real you because uh, normally the real person stays in middle and the clone goes left and right. And now when it comes to the new feature 
gunsmithing material. Here you can make your custom loadouts or you can make loadouts of guns that I mentioned earlier just like AK-47, AK-47 and blah blah blah. The custom loadouts then could be obtained through airdrops. If you want to see my loadouts then I'll show you guys all of them at the last of my video. But bro, there's some other good players too, Vinky face. And now we are done with our loadout. You guys are on your battlefield. It is time to jump. I wouldn't recommend you guys jumping on high tier areas. High tier areas are usually full of loot but also full of people. If you don't know which is uh, which one is high tier area then in short do not jump on areas with yellow colored name. The other good tip is never go for kills, survive. The more you will survive you will get more XP which will help you to rank up faster and you will lose less. They are giving us characters a higher rank on surviving more not for killing more. So remember to survive and if you don't know, let me tell you the second name of battle royale is survival mode. If you see an enemy, don't just run to him, wait, take over and let him come to you in that way you can easily kill him. The best thing to win a battle royale match is to stay near the edges of zone. Do not go in the middle of circle of zone. If you guys stay near the edges of zone, you guys know nobody is behind of you and only got focus is your surrounding and in front of you. You guys have no fear at the backside and once you see that your zone is moving then keep moving with your zone and it's gonna help you a lot trust me if you guys are staying near the edges of zone this is the best thing that you guys can do in a battle royale the other good thing that you guys can do is to stay on a higher area if you guys can find a taller building or a, or a cliff go on to that because you guys know it is a rule of shooting game the higher area always give you advantage the other good thing is to take cover, never stand in the open cause enemies can see you, they can snipe you or shoot at you so always remember you stay close to your cover or you always take cover, never stand in the open, stay safe and if it's a lost circle make sure you guys find a small fetch, small stone, it can help you a lot, just find a small cover, even if it's a tree, go behind it, you guys gotta find the taller building, taller cliff or a higher area or you guys just have to go and take cover, it's gonna help you a lot to win gunfights. Always find and pick weapons with high rarity. The higher the rarity is the better the weapon is because you'll get more attachments and it will help you to kill your enemies easily. Now I'm not saying you to drop your uncommon rarity AK-117 and pick legendary XPR. A better weapon matters too. Do not leave if you ever find legendary versions of weapon that I mentioned earlier, if you ever find legendary AK-117, M4, KN-44, AK-47, LK-24, do not miss them. They're the best weapons and legendary versions are gonna make them the best. But also remember, your right custom loadouts that you made in Gunsmith is always better than any rarity that you see in Battle Royale. The other good thing is to keep your health full. Try to find level 3 vest, armor plates, adrenaline and keep recovering your health. Even if your health is like 148, make sure you heal it to 150 which is only possible with adrenaline. Also remember to upgrade your class, go follow the purple cubes on map then upgrade your class it will help you a lot. The last thing that I want to mention is to use right weapon mods or perk. Now mods give your weapon special ability. The example of some mistake that people make is to use extended mag perk on PDW. And if you know, PDW already has a great magazine capacity. It's useless to use such weapon mods on uh, these kind of weapons. If you notice your weapon has more recoil and a recoil mod can make it perfect, then go look for it and use that. Always use ride mods or perks. Now that's all my helpful tips that will help you to rank faster in battle royale and you guys would be able to reach master 2 and unlock your tango on that crusade character faster. If you guys like this video, go like it. If you guys didn't like it, dislike it, not a problem. Please share this video. My channel is kinda dead. If you guys would share it, it will reach more people and it's gonna help me grow. And yeah, I will catch you guys in my next card video. Remember, peace, love and unity. My name is Ali and I'm signing out. In the middle.
Now here are a quick voice from response uh, MoboClub. Go use code Ali at MoboClub website to get 10% discount. So if you guys are bad at game or you guys want to use club but you guys can't use it, go buy your MoboClub right now using code Ali. MoboClub make grips, triggers and controllers specifically for card members. So if you guys can't use club then I would suggest go buy uh, pro triggers by MoboClub. Those are my favorite ones. So triggers allow you guys to use your screen buttons at the back side of your screen. In that way you guys can get wide display as well as you guys can improve your game overall because the more fingers you guys use the more you guys can improve your game so go get your mobile claw if you guys can't use claw or if you guys just want to buy your grip or controller using code ali to get 10% discount thank you so much mobile claw for sponsoring this video found my bones gave me comfort when i feel alive now you're gone i'm alone i guess it's time to get better through the pain I will go alone If I fall, break my bones I will scream even louder Cause I'm not dying alone I lost my best friend to 23 She left her body and hovered above me